All right, so tomorrow we have a pretty big update and I'll do a separate video on that covering everything that's gonna change, but there is one thing that warrants a separate video and it's this. So the official Fortnite status Twitter account just put this tweet out. And this might possibly be one of the worst changes I've ever seen to Fortnite, but it won't affect everyone. However, the people that it will affect are probably gonna be pretty mad, myself included. So this is what they say, with the release of Fortnite's version 25.10 update, we'll be reallocating the daily login rewards to other sources, most notably daily quests and mission alerts. So you may be reading that and think, what in the hey batter batter does that mean? What is that talking about? Well, let's go to the blog and then I'll break it down for you and trust me, it's not good. So here's what the blog post says. With the release of Fortnite's version 25.10 update, we'll be making a significant change to the reward system in Save the World. We'll be removing, ing the daily login rewards and shuffling those, <laughs> sorry, I'm cracking myself up at how I pronounce it. <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't know. I'm leaving it in though and shuffling those rewards to other sources, most notably daily quests and mission alerts. Then they say, as players reach higher difficulty levels and save the world, we wanna make sure everyone finds the reward system valuable. Our goal is to make it so that finishing a single daily quest and mission alert makes up for the removal of daily login rewards. We recognize that finishing a daily quest and mission alert requires more time and effort than just logging in. And then they talk about more save the world stuff, but that's the most important part. So I'll link that article if you want to read it. It's the official blog post by Fortnite themselves. It's all official, but it's the removal of daily login rewards. That's quite possibly the worst change Fortnite and Save the World have ever done. Now let's say you don't know anything about that because a lot of you probably don't. So when Save the World came out a long time ago, remember it was out before Battle Royale was out. At one point they offered multiple versions of the game that you could buy. So there were multiple versions of Save the World and they were called Founders Packs. And they weren't cheap. They weren't cheap at all. The cheapest one you could get was the standard Founders Pack and it was $40, $39.99. Then you could one up that and go to the Deluxe Founders Pack for $60, $59.99. You could go up another one to the Super Deluxe Founders Pack for $89.99 or $90. You could go to the most expensive one for the limited edition Founders Pack, which was $150 or $149.99. Or you could do the ultimate upgrade pack for $99.99 or $100. And I think in order to get this ultimate upgrade, you already had to buy the $150 one. So you had to buy the limited edition Founders Pack for $150. Then you had to shell out another $100. That's $250 for Save the World. So there were a few redeeming factors for buying these Founders Packs. Number one, you would get some free skins. In fact, arguably two of the cooler free skins in the game, the Rose Team Leader and the Warpaint skin, plus all their accessories. So there was a pickaxe, there was a glider, there was back blings. And to this day, the Rose Team Leader is one of my favorite skins. I love the pink color scheme on that skin, but that was the only way to get it from the Founders Pack. In addition with the Founders Pack, if you won a game, you got the Founders Umbrella. So not many people have that. So besides those free items that you got with the purchase of the Founders Pack, there's also the benefit of receiving daily login rewards. And this is where the V-Bucks and the huge nerf to V-Bucks comes into play. So if you're not familiar with this system, let me just show you real quick. So again, as far as I know, this was only available to Founders members. So if I come to save the world right now, let's go hop over and I'll show you what happens. Because I'm a Founder, I purchased the Founders edition of Save the World. Every time I log in to save the world each day, it resets every day, you get a free reward. It's called the Daily Login Reward. So here we go. As you can see, I've logged in 915 days. And every day you log in, of course, I miss a million. Sometimes I forget to log in. In fact, a lot of times I forget to log in. I should be way past 915 days because I bought it in 2017 or 2018. So I miss a lot of days, obviously. But you can see that in two more days, I will get 150 V-Bucks. And then on day 924, which is just a few more days later, I'll get 300 V-Bucks. So that was the main highlight for buying the Founders Packs of Save the World. Yes, you got Save the World and all the cool things that came with it, but you also got rewarded 
in Battle Royale by getting free V-Bucks. Now, later on, we got something called the Save the World Packs, which were skins in Battle Royale, but you would also get the Save the World game. However, you wouldn't get these daily rewards. You would log in and get free stuff, but not things like V-Bucks. Those were only for the Founders Packs. So how much V-Bucks could you get with these Founders Rewards? Well, here's a chart right here. So every 336 days, you would get 10,000 V-Bucks for free. 10,000 V-Bucks every 336 days. This is how it was broken down. Day 11, you would get 50. Day 28, 300. Every once in a while, such as on day 112, you'd get 800. And then on the last day, 336, you would get 1,000 V-Bucks. And if you add all those up from day 11 until day 336, it's 10,000 V-Bucks. So every 336 days, you would get 10,000 V-Bucks. And that's all you had to do. Every day, load up Save the World, collect a reward, and that's it. You didn't actually have to play Save the World. It was nice, it was amazing, it was worth the price of the Founders Pack because of this, especially if you played Battle Royale. And now, out of the blue, they're saying, not today, big fella. We're nerfing this, we're taking it away. So that's the entire point of this update tomorrow for Save the World and people like me that have the Founders Edition, they're taking the daily rewards away. And what are they doing with it? They're putting it into quests. So you can still get V-Bucks, you just have to work for it now. You don't just log in to save the world, get the reward and go play Battle Royale. No, they want you to play hours upon hours a day doing quests. And some of the quests are hard. They're time consuming. A lot of people don't have time for that. And I can guarantee that a lot of people that bought the Founders Edition didn't buy it to play Save the World. They bought it for the V-Bucks and the daily rewards and the free skins. So why force this upon people? I get that they want people to play Save the World again, but this is not the way to do it. So Fire Monkey summarized the blog post that I read at the beginning, and this is what he said. Daily login reward is being removed. We just talked about that. Rewards will be redistributed to other sources such as daily quests and mission alerts. So then he says daily quests will now provide additional rewards such as 30 extra x-ray tickets and 30 extra V-Bucks for founders. So if you're a founder, you'll now get more V-Bucks for daily quests. And someone did the math. If you do all the daily quests every single day, it all adds up that you'll get the 10,000 V-Bucks again. And in fact, I think it adds up to 10,080. But again, you have to work for it. You have to do the quest. You have to spend hours upon hours. I can't even imagine how many hours it would take of doing daily quests and save the world to get 10,000 V-Bucks. Again, before you log in to save the world, you collect your reward, you back out. It takes two minutes tops. A daily challenge can take upwards of what, 15 to 30 minutes just for doing one? Because you can't just back out of Save the World missions. You have to end the entire mission. And most of them have these outrageous countdowns, like 15 to 30 minutes just to complete the map to get your mission rewards. It's time consuming, real time consuming. But that's the gist of it. You used to get 10K V-Bucks every year by no effort. Now you can get 10,080 V-Bucks with a lot of effort and a lot of time consumed in doing it. Absolutely ridiculous ridiculous change and in my opinion if I was a founders member which I am but I'm talking in regards to everyone else I would be wanting a full refund because this is not what I signed up for like I said one of the benefits for these founders packs was the daily login bonuses they didn't put a stipulation on the bottom that said haha in five years from now we're gonna remove this and make you work for it that's not what they put nobody saw this coming nobody wanted this to come and yet here it is coming in tomorrow's update. So for all of you like me that would collect these free V-Bucks, 10,000 a year, it's gone tomorrow. Now, luckily, there is one redeeming hope factor at the very bottom of the blog. They did say this. We thank you for reading and we'll be listening to your feedback on these changes. So if a lot of people are unhappy, which it looks like on social media, maybe they'll revert this change. But again, this only affects people that were founders, because like I said, if you got the normal Save the World packs later on, you didn't get the V-Bucks as the daily login reward. So I assume some people are gonna be happy about this change, and then obviously all the founders are not gonna be happy. So I have hope that they'll, number one, revert this change when it comes out, or number two, maybe offer a refund for all the founders out there. They'll do something. There's no way if a lot of people complain, they're just gonna sit back and do nothing, because this is a significant change. They're nerfing 
V-Bucks from Save the World from all the founders out there. So there you go. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about this? Do you think this is a good change or do you think it's a pretty bad change? If you're not a Founders member, obviously this doesn't affect you at all. But boy, if you are a Founders member, they just nerfed the V-Bucks into oblivion. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaverTime.